What's up guys, building layouts with Jetpack Compose is mostly all about rows, columns, scrollable rows, scrollable columns, etc, etc. So in this video, we are going to talk about some fundamental properties for aligning children inside rows and columns. Let's try to understand with an example. I'm going to define a column with a full width and a fixed height with a child inside. So without further ado, let's start. Let's give it some background color so we can clearly see our column. Now let's define a button inside the column. So we have a column with a button inside. By default, the button inside the column appears on the top left corner. So how do we align the items to the center? For that, there is a child property called alignment. Let's try to add that in the child, which is a button in this case. We have added a property called alignment center horizontally in the child. Now let's try to run this. As you can see, the button is nicely aligned in the center horizontally. But what if we want to change the orientation of this button to center vertically? Let's try that. Uh oh, if I try to change center horizontally to center vertically, Studio gives me an error. Now this is important, this is what we need to understand. Inside a column, the children can only align themselves horizontally. So in column, children can have any alignment property on x-axis. In order to memorize this, just remember the children can align themselves opposite to their parent. So in the case of column, children can only align themselves anything on the x-axis. So for horizontal property, it can align itself anywhere. You can see in the start or in the end. As you can see, the button has aligned horizontally at the end. You might be wondering how do we align the element center vertically. Just hold on, I'll get back to this after we are done discussing the row. Now let's define a row and see how alignment property works with it. Let's place a button inside the row. Let's copy this button from here. I'm gonna put it right here. And let's remove this alignment so we can see how does this appear by default. Once we are done defining the row, we need to define a column outside. So the both column and row can be aligned properly inside of that column. Now we have a parent column and inside it we have a column and a row. Okay, now we have a row with a button inside. Let's rename this button to row button so we can clearly differentiate it. So just like in columns, the button by default will be at the very start. So let's try to align this in the center. For that, we need to add alignment modifier just like we added in the column. Now just like column, now in a row if we try to make alignment horizontally, it will give me a warning. So for rows, children can only align themselves vertically. They can have any orientation on the y-axis. So in case of columns, children can only align themselves horizontally. If it's a row, children can align themselves vertically. Let's see what does it look like when we change the orientation to vertical. Let's try to run this one more time. Now you can see in the row, the button is aligned center vertically. Let's get back to our question that how do we align these elements in the center? Like center vertically in the, in the case of columns and center horizontally in the case of rows. Let's look at the column example first. As we said, in a column, children can only align themselves horizontally. Now to align themselves vertically, we need to add a modifier in the parent. There's a property called vertical arrangement. Let's try to add that in the column. Now you can see the button is vertically aligned in the column by using the arrangement center property. But it's appearing at the end, for that we need to change the alignment back to center horizontally. Now you can see the button is nicely aligned in the center. Now let's try to align the row button in the center. For that we need to add a property called horizontal arrangement in the parent. So let's try to add that in the row. 
we can see the button is nicely aligned in the center. I hope by now you have an idea how to align items inside the rows and columns. That's it for this video. In the next video, we are going to understand the concept further by converting a design into a composed layout. I will see you in the next video. Till then, goodbye.